time's the charm. Hi everyone, happy, um, what day is it? Wednesday, Christmas Eve Eve, or better known as Festivus. Now, I'm not making a Festivus cocktail tonight, but if you were, just make any drink you want and use a silver stainless steel straw as the Festivus pole and get drunk enough to tell off your friends and family and air your grievances. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be making da -dum -dum -dum, da -dum, the snow miser and heat miser drinks. I know this is gonna be silly. It's not very detailed. Um, it's basically the snow miser can be made with you know, Malibu rum, or you can make it with vodka, and it's almost like a Cosmo. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I don't know why this is saying. Okay, maybe now it's working. <laughs> I can't, I can't see it. Okay, so we are going to start with the heat miser. All right. So now I just happen to have chili infused vodka it doesn't take long so it's not one of these infusions that you have to wait weeks for like i've made before this is literally going to be um you could just take a cup of vodka and one serrano chili that's washed you can cut it if you like and take leave the seeds in leave them take them out and just use the peel but i'm telling you if you just throw the whole pepper in there in a couple hours, you will have hot infused chili vodka. Um, you can also, of course, make this drink with tequila. So let's just start. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is even going live because it's not showing up. Um, and I know one of my friends is there, but it doesn't say anything. So I'm going to take into a cocktail shaker. I'm going to take like I don't know, enough ice to shake it with. All right, and now this I left in overnight. So this is really potent stuff. I tried the drink before I started and it was really hot. Um, so if that is the case and you overdo it and you leave it in for more than four hours um, and you leave it in 24 hours like I did, then cut it half and half with a regular vodka if you don't want it that hot. If you don't want to go to the trouble of making it hot, you could always just quickly throw in a little hot sauce. Um, but because we want to keep this clean and colorful, uh, not so much recommended. You could throw in a little splash of Fireball if you have it. Infuse your, if you have some cucumbers, you can, uh, not cucumbers, if you have some jalapenos, just put one in quick put a half one in for an hour. I'm telling you, it will work. So I'm going to put one ounce of chili infused and I'm going to do one of regular to cut it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's working. Okay, I'll keep going though. I'll keep plugging along. All right, now um, you would take, oh, so let me talk, talk about the cocktail. Since it's supposed to be lighthearted, not just a serious drink, um, it's basically chili and chocolate, which is fantastic together. Um, it's a very Mexican kind of slant to it, but chili and chocolate goes so well. So that is just an ounce of this. Now, if you didn't make your homemade cream to cocoa like I did, then you can totally use um, any chocolate liqueur. Um, Godiva, you can use uh, white Godiva. If I had my druthers, I would have just bought white Godiva about two weeks ago because I tried making white cream to cocoa and it did not work. So I have one ounce of regular vodka, one ounce of chili infused, and one ounce of cream to cocoa. And if you don't have the white Godiva or white cream to cocoa, you can always throw in a splash of half and half or milk, and I mean a splash, just a dash, because we kind of want this to get the food coloring. Um, because I'm making that one blue, I want this one to be red, so just one drop of food coloring. If you don't care about making it fun and doing it silly, totally leave out the food coloring. 
This is called a Boston shaker. So where you just take your shaker with a glass and like shake it up. And yes, I know my shirt's on backwards, it's the camera. If I flip it the other way, it doesn't say, I can't see what anyone's saying. So it says I'm full of holiday spirits, AKA vodka. So perfect shirt for tonight. All right, we've got this almost ready to pour. Let's talk about our rim. Always gotta talk about our rim. Now you can just simply take some corn syrup and put red sprinkles on. That would, red sparkles, sorry, red sugar. That would be cute, but because this is chili and chocolate, I thought I'm actually doing some hot cocoa. So it's basically like three parts hot cocoa to one part of my chili pepper, chili powder that fell on the floor. All right, I don't even know if this video is, is sharing because I don't see anyone saying hello. And I know a certain someone is watching. All right, so I'm simply going to take, what am I gonna take? I'll take a little bit of the, just have to get this wet and then dip it in your chili and chocolate. Can you see that? All righty. And now we're gonna pour it in. I personally like using my regular shaker, but I didn't want to wash two of them because I'm making two drinks, so. So cute. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Okay, wait, if that wasn't cute enough, I'm going to add something to it once I get the Miser Brother one, the Snow Miser done. So let's do that quickly. So into my second cocktail shaker. Gonna put some ice and we are gonna do this quicker one to two ounce vodka depending how much alcohol you want to drink if you're only having one you could do two I'll do one and a half okay and now it's one ounce of triple sec so very quickly let me talk about that this drink would be perfect for blue curacao I looked it up the only difference and we've talked about curacao versus triple sec before the only difference between Curacao and Triple Sec nowadays is the addition of blue food color. So A, I don't need another bottle in my liquor cabinet, and C, I don't need, and B. <laughs> A and B. A, I don't need an extra bottle. B, I don't need a, um, a blue drink because I don't make them that often. So you're gonna see in a second. Um, I read about it. Blue curacao is simply orange curacao with blue dye added to it. So, and the only difference, let's get even further. The only difference between curacao and triple sec nowadays, maybe a hundred years ago, maybe 80 years ago, 50 years ago difference. Curacao used to be made in curacao with Valencia oranges, not anymore. Um, it's the same thing. You can get fancier if you want and get Cointreau but Cointreau is also just a clear orange liqueur. So it's just a, an alcohol mixed with um, the orange flavoring, just as the Curacao is the orange with the flavoring. It used to be made with a brandy or a rum or a liqueur, not anymore if you just buy the blue Curacao. It's just basically grain alcohol with blue dye and orange flavoring. The only different one that I truly think is worth your money is, well, there's lots of different brands, but the, the, the basic ones that you would see is um, Grand Marnier. That's different. That is a brandy based or cognac. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure brandy or cognac. Hmm. I forget which one. We talked about this this summer, but anyway, it's a beautiful French li liqueur and that is upgraded from a triple sec. That's why it costs 30 or $40. It's, it's liquor that is, you know, just fantastic. Smells fantastic, tastes fantastic. You can drink it on its own. You certainly would never have this on your on its own. This is great for your Cosmos, your margaritas. It's a must. It's absolutely wonderful. But again, triple sec, Curacao, Cointreau, it's all the same thing. I actually bought a fancier orange liqueur and it was too syrupy for me. So I either go Grand Marnier when I want it nice or triple sec when I'm just making it fun. 
All right, so that was two ounces of vodka with one ounce of our blue triple sec. And now this one is going to get two ounces. Now this is if you're making these like a, a martini. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm not using a technical martini glass, I'm just using this. So we will strain it like we strained this one. If you are going to make it for friends and you don't want everyone getting sloshed on Christmas Eve and, and airing your grievances like Festivus, then you'll fill this with ice and we'll add more cranberry and it won't be a martini, it'll just be a cocktail. All right, so then that's it. So two ounces of vodka, one ounce of curacao or triple sec, and two ounces of white crayon. All right, that's done. Um, now for blue, I didn't have any blue sprinkles, sugar, so I made my own. I simply took white sugar, added some blue food dye, mixed it with a fork, and that's it. So that's adorable. So let me take a little, I always need a little liquor or something since I don't have any citrus. This is like one of my first times not having citrus out, a lime, a lemon, an orange to dip this in or the corn syrup. You could just take a little bit of your triple set, shake it and dip in your blue. So cute. Can you see that? Adorable. All right, let me move this to the side. And now we're going to strain that in. Look how cute. All right. So the snow miser and the heat miser with its chili and hot cocoa rim, this is going to get even better. We have blue cotton candy. And we're gonna put that right on the top and it goes right in. So you wanna do this in front of your guests because it's really cute. If you wanted to, sorry. If you want them to eat it and not drink it, then you can take it, take your cotton candy not so easy. I was going to do this last night. Hey, Matt. I was going to do this last night, but the problem was I wasn't feeling good for two days. That's also the reason I wasn't on. And that is the heat miser with his poof of hair here. And we'll do that again for the snow miser. And like I said, I mean, it will, it will, yeah, you don't need to do that right this second. And it will come and blend right into the drink. So you kind of want to balance it on the side. And there it is. Ching, ching, cheers. <laughs> I'm going to take that out so I can taste it. Mm. Oh, Matt, you're going to like this one. Now this one, you want to get rid of the fluff. This one, I'm so interested because I made it with a, a little bit more of cream before. Ooh, ooh. See, my chili infused vodka, I'm literally going to have to add about a cup of vodka regular tonight because this is, this is potent, as we say in mixology world. <laughs> I don't know what they say. I love it. It just has the hint of chocolate, the hint of heat, more than a hint of heat with mine, but if, if you buy you know, jalapeno flavored vodka from the store, like Stoli makes it, or I think Three Olives, it wouldn't be like as potent and you wouldn't be dying right now. But it is good, but I can throw more milk in, whatever. I like this one. You can also call this a blue Christmas if you want, but if you're blue, then boo hoo, because there's lots of good reasons to be happy. Even some of us are more alone than we wish to be. I know we're not having our full family over this Christmas, but that's okay. Everybody has to stay safe and feel comfortable. And then now I have one fun more, one more fun drink that I wanted to talk about. So we love the movie Elf in our house. 
and I just wanted to whip this up really quick because I kind of owe you guys a cocktail since I wasn't on yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Of course. I know I don't owe anybody. But, let me, of course, I'm out of... Sorry, sorry, I'm out of a clean glass. So, horchata and rum chata. Why did I buy this? Because I've had rum chata with Fireball at parties years ago, and I didn't like it. But when I saw this and it was on sale, I thought, okay, maybe I'll like this. It has vanilla, cinnamon, everything that horchata has. So I thought, why not? So let's make a cotton heady knitting muggin drink before we go. So into a glass that's clean, I will put one ounce of horchata or you can use rum chata. I looked at the ingredients, basically the same exact thing. And now, this is my Kahlua. I made homemade Kahlua. If you don't have homemade Kahlua and you have regular, of course that would work. If you want to leave out the Kahlua, you can. I added it in at the last minute because I wanted it to be almost like a white Russian. This is my vanilla homemade vodka. I'm going to add that in too. I'm just doing an ounce to ounce to ounce, and then it wouldn't be a cotton headed ninny mugging if you didn't add maple syrup. So all the elves love maple syrup, so let's do that quick. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on a plate. Let's pretend I have a plate here. Dip my glass in. I'm running out of time. And I'm putting cinnamon. Cinnamon on the rim because I think cinnamon would be perfect with these flavors. So here's my cotton headed ninny muggin. Cotton headed ninny muggin. And I can't find my top. There it is. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my cocktail countdown. I probably should have done 12 days. But I still have so many cocktails and shirts. So little time before Christmas. I had a Grinch drink I was going to make. I had a Santa's cookies. I had the crazy mud slide. But we can't do everything, can we? All right. Now, you could, of course, put some white cotton candy on there. But we saw how well that worked with the other drinks. So we're gonna go with that. And just like in the movie Elf, he wears his green suit. So I thought a green cherry and a candy cane because elves love candy canes. So this is Cotton Headed Ninny Mugga. Let's taste it. This is so good. I am leaving this out for Santa and I am sure I'm gonna get something good under that tree. Mm -mm. Okay, everyone. Have a fabulous, fabulous Christmas Eve. A fabulous Christmas day. I hope, mm. I hope if you make one of my cocktails you would take a picture and post on this group page because i would love to see if anybody is utilizing any of my recipes and my ideas and all the fun stuff that we've done for the past oh my god i don't know four weeks i don't know what it's been but there's the drinks so much fun green cherries hi riley how are you and ho, 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 and I hope you have a great holiday if I don't make it tomorrow, which I probably won't because we're having people over, my friends and family. And to all my friends and family and Facebook friends, my new Facebook friends who have joined me and gave me words of encouragement and said, keep going, don't be silly, you're doing great, even when I screw up and I don't make everything perfect. But I just want to thank you. It's been really fun. It's kept me busy, kept me on track. And that's it. So Merry Christmas.